Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, it's nine o'clock. Let's call our, our early morning meeting together here and begin the pledge of allegiance. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for coming early and accommodating us because of our Wolf Creek Ditch here. Could we have a roll call, please? Commissioner Wagner. I'm here. Commissioner Stacy. Here. Commissioner Zoller. Here. And I might note for the record, this is Tuesday, July 16th, 2013. Uh, let's sign the journal and do we have a motion to approve the minutes? Yes. Yes. Motion we approve the minutes as outlined. Second. Second. Okay. Um, all in favor of the yeah, minutes as outlined, say aye. Aye. Your favorite? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All, 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 <laughs> all Waiting for the roll call. You're changing well, we're, going away, we're doing away with that roll call. Faster for each stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the stuff that's not that bad. Yeah. Okay. okay uh, old business. This is Rose. Um, old business. We received a letter from uh, Palmer Brothers Concrete, and I talked to Mike Logan Ball about the company from Palmer Brothers that he's going to get with them. They have sent us a letter saying. Um, basically, the concrete is 25% recycled, so I just want to make sure they can go ahead. It's okay with you. They go ahead and proceed. Mm -hmm. um, so I think they'd like to get started next week, at least setting some of the forms up and stuff. Okay. So, and I did talk to Tim. I sent Tim the letter, mm -hmm. and he does have our uh, other letter that he requested. He did have that. He just okay. they couldn't find it. So, I think but they the do. Have Tim Wasserman. And Tim Wasserman. Yes. Yeah, recyclable yep. grants. Yeah. Okay. So, Do you need anything else from the board at this time? Nope. As long as it's okay, we'll have them proceed, and uh, okay. the money's already in place and are recycled. So. Okay. Okay. Well, it's already. I thought the concrete bills will come to the commissioner's office, and then we will just forward those to the recyclable center and they'll pay them or do we pay them out of our funds and then re they reimburse us? We pay them and then yeah. they reimburse us. Yes. Okay. Uh, we also, did we get a uh, answer for, um, was it Pleasant Township and and S City of Tiffin for those couple stones that need replaced? We can put this behind us once and for all. Um, I haven't heard from the city. I left the mayor a couple messages, but I know with the storms and things, he's been pretty busy. Um, Pleasant Township. Jeanette doesn't check the email that sh they have set up over there, so I ha we had to send her, to basically send her the stuff again, um, because they haven't seen what the stone looked like. I told her they could just go out there, but I sent her a print copy of what the stone looked like. They they were talking about doing it. They wanted to do it. I, I wonder, if, since it's going to be a recyclable grant and not any cost to the county, or the, what, those six or seven unmarked stones out there if we could get the uh, the scouts to go ahead and at least put the foundation in for that i don't know but well it's something if you'd ask them because the stones themselves are what the the two hundred dollars is for and those weren't those are natural stones and not recycled yeah made out but of the do product. they have to be on a foundation oh, or yeah. would they be on a foundation then the foundation could be but i don't yeah they I didn't, they didn't ask, separate ask that the out scouts. in a quote I mean, if they could just put those six in, since we helped them get the uh, get the grant there, and then as to the city or the townships, is that they're going to put. And my hope is they would put similar type stones that are up there. Put this thing to bed and get on the more important things with the yeah. county. Do you want to comment on that, Tom? Yeah, uh, those stones will be in the footer. They won't be on the footer, as I understand. Oh. So I don't think you can do that. Okay. 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 Well, so maybe since there's work being done out there, and it could kind of all be done at the same time with that a well, because so the foundation was forty five dollars, and then and the stone was two hundred. Is that what? Um, all it said is installation. It didn't say concrete. It just said it's stone. It's easier if you could do it all at once, right yeah, now. Yeah. So right. I may put a call into the mayor and if you check again with that. Okay. Okay. Any other old business? Nicole. No. 
Okay. Uh, new business. New business. Let's see. I don't have an agenda. So I'm going to guess here. I have <laughs> bill vouchers. Let's see. 84, 85. 87. That's a good 84 to 87. 84 to 87. <laughs> Let's see, a resolution uh, supplement to the permit appropriations for the Sheriff Highway Safety Grant Fund 220, putting $585.51 into transfers out. I have resolution authorizing a fund transfer be made to the Energy Improvement Fund. I think that's supposed to be the Highway Safety Grant Fund. For five hundred eighty-five dollars and fifty-one cents, moving it from from the transfers out in the highway safety grant fund to the general fund. Have a supplement to the permit appropriations for the general fund, putting five hundred eighty-five dollars and fifty-one cents into supplies. This is um, again at the request of the sheriff. All these were the sheriff's. The other grant ended, and when it ends, it could be. The, Remainder can be put into the general fund. We have a supplement to the permanent appropriations for the SFY 14 Community Corrections Fund 181, putting $500 into travel and training. We have an appropriation adjustment within the Seneca County Sewer District Fund 139 taking $148 from other expense to travel. I have a resolution authorizing an appropriation adjustment within the Community Development Block Grant FY11 Fund 196, moving $48.15 from salaries to other expense. I have a supplement to the permanent appropriation to, for the general fund for 2013, putting $12,396.65 into pre reclaimed estates. Uh, this came from the auditor's office. Uh, there was a um, unclaimed estate from case number 11 CV 0513 foreclosure case, and we have to put that or return that apparently. A resolution authorizing the Seneca County Board of Commissioners to sign a satisfaction of mortgage for the Joanne Groves for the satisfaction of a mortgage loan with the Seneca County Commissioners for work done through the Community Housing Improvement Program, FY09 Home Funds. Excuse me, we're going to Yes. What is that? The satisfaction of mortgage to Joan Groves. We have a chip, we have that chip grant that we get every couple years. We just recently reapplied for it and it expires here in October or something like that. That is money that is then we contract with WSOS to administer. So yeah, who's Joan Groves? It looks well, like she's a one of the, she's one of the recipients. This is money they can be used to weatherize homes for people that fit into these categories, can be used for home repair various things so she received one of those and, it, and we, we receive a mortgage in exchange for, for she's the county being resident done. Then. she's, she's county a county resident, resident. Yep. had and her house fixed applied for the chip grant we get a mortgage in her house until she mm -hmm. resolves the whole thing and uh -huh. now we're releasing it or yes okay yes. okay i'm with you when I see a personal name on there, yep. satisfying mortgages, I wonder if I could have my name on there. Nice so. <laughs> <laughs> try. The chip, you can. <laughs> and this was an 09 of funds, so she received it in 09. Don't put that in paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a resolution accepting the resignation of Lisa Russell as the Seneca County Law Librarian, effective July 19, 2013. I have a resolution authorizing an agreement with CCAO for the natural gas and electricity program participation. It's the same two contracts we've done. The natural gas we've done for quite a few years and the electric. Um, this would be our second contract for the electric. And 
there's my agenda. <laughs> on the bottom. Um, I do have additional. Um, oh, I have a resolution um, for the commissioners to show support of the Sandusky River Clean Sweep co sponsorship with the city of Tiffin. They ask us to do this every year and um, they kind of need to know if we will co sponsor this for 2013. Okay. Just showing our support. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, one more. I have a request uh, from our engineer, uh, Mark Zimmerman. He had come up and talked to me about uh, the TaxMap computer. TaxMap is a general fund account. And the computer they, they've they used over there for many, many years, um, it's got, it's I think it's still running, what was the one before, XP? <laughs> okay. Yeah, whatever it was. <laughs> so um, I know he's got uh, some an intern he wants to get up there, and they want to get this computer, computer replaced. Um, we do have money left over. We've paid our workers' comp. Uh, if, if it's okay with you, we could just do an appropriation adjustment if you want to think about it. It's, uh, the computer's about $600, what we've paid for the other ones. Um, so... Do you have an appropriation adjustment if you would like me to read it or if you want to think about it? I guess I'm in favor of going ahead. Yeah. We can go over the problem. Yeah. We can okay. think about it, but it, we have yeah. to do it anyway. I'm going to say, yeah, <laughs> you don't have a choice. Can, I mean, even XP, I know, next July, yeah. you don't any support for it. So. Um, okay, so I have a resolution authorizing an appropriation adjustment within the general fund, moving $600 from workers' comp to uh, tax maps equipment. And that's all I have. Okay, is there a motion for those? Resolutions? And I make a motion that we approve those resolutions as stated. I will second. Okay. Any discussion on any of them? I would comment that the aggregation thing, the County Commissioners Association, natural gas and electricity, especially the natural gas, saves us a lot of money through the years. Um, buying our money in, in or buying our money, buying our our utilities in uh, bulk with uh, with uh, other counties. Other questions, comments? Yeah, you know, just just to, to talk about that. I, you know, we was an individual that here, was here a couple weeks ago that is now going to solicit the various townships on combined electric rates and so forth and so on. I was contacted last week by AEP that they also have a similar. Did I transfer that to you, Stacy? Oh, I know Holly transferred one to me. Okay. Um, this thing could just get real cumbersome. Everybody wants to come to, to us to see if you know we will allow them to go to the townships and so forth. I mean, there certainly is a lot of merit with that, but I think some way we need to and they're free to go to consolidate the, the information and and disseminate it to to the some or other you know which one's the best and then make a recommendation. To, and I hate to get involved you know with that, but. I just know from a business standpoint, you just get inundated with this stuff, and, and it needs to almost be a clearinghouse. So I, and I don't know how to do it, how, where to go about it, but some sort of clearinghouse. So these, instead of just us just signing off saying, yeah, that's fine, you know, go to talk with it. And then you got three or four entities that are going to the townships trying to solicit their... Well, they've got the township association to serve as a clearinghouse, I would guess. I mean, they could go to that group because they can go to them whether we say go to them or not. I mean, that's the, in the end, if they start moving it, they get wanted a blanket. The first one was, I'm drawing a blanket on the name, and they talked at the Township Association meeting. Yeah, yeah, Palmer. Yeah. Palmer. That was Palmer, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they just said they would like the overall thing signed by us to not have to do an individual one with each township, but other than that, it's well, up to each township if they want to yeah. do it. I just... So, I mean, they, the township's got to hear their presentation, I mean, and want to give them the time. I don't I don't know that they're going to get... <coughs> so many of our townships are North Central, our majority is North Central, that they don't gain anything from from those. I, they, they don't feel the residents will pass them yeah. because it requires, and they've only got to August 6th to get it on, oh, okay. to get it on the ballot. And I, I mean, they're the running guy, out of time. The guy from AEP was different, I think. I think, I just listened to his message, I think he wanted to bid on our aggregation. You know, through Commissioner's Association, we bid that a year ago, year and a half ago, whatever it was, and I think Direct Energy won the bid. 
I think AEP wants to know how they can bid the next time. I don't oh. even think they're talking about the, going to the Oh, is, okay. Well, they, oh, they need to go through. That's a simple one. They need to go through the CCAO then, correct? Yeah. But the next time, we, I don't remember how long our contract was. You know, it was some yeah. odd time. It wasn't like a three-year contract. It was a, an no. odd time. Because yeah. we don't want to break from that. I mean, no, that's, well, that's, you can't. No. You can't. You got a contract. I think he wants to get in the okay. bidding process the next time. So we could refer him to Palmer Energy, I would think, who directed our bids mm -hmm. through the Commissioners Association. I, I would think. Okay. I'm okay. Um, let's see, we didn't vote on any of that yet. Uh, I have a roll call, please. Commissioner Zoller. Yes. Commissioner Stacy. Yes. Commissioner Lightyear. Yes. Okay, do we have somebody from EMS that wants to talk to us, or are you just getting warm today? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's cold, cold outside, yeah. Uh, I think, I think the reason I'm here is I want to introduce Chris Hayfley. Chris is our newest hire for the ECHO unit. Uh, Chris has a long and storied history with Seneca County and Tiffin. Uh, Tiff's been, uh, Chris has been a medic for probably 30 plus years, okay. 32 okay. years. Okay. Okay. And uh, he's an educator in, in EMS uh, through EHOVI. And he's got a lot of civic ties, things like the All Patriots Memorial and things like that. And he's Great. with the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation and things like that. So Chris is uh, Chris brings a lot of experience to us, and uh, we're lucky to have him. And it's uh, kind of important to me to try to bring the guys up and, and introduce them to you when we do hire them in. And uh, I've hired a few that I haven't been able to get up here because of schedules and things like that. But Chris... Uh, Chris has, has got a long history with EMS, and I think he'll be a perfect fit for us. And Great. We'll definitely take advantage of his skills and his education. So I just wanted to introduce him to the, to the board. And if you got anything to say, there he is. Welcome. Chris, did you, you retired from the fire department? Yeah, I uh, retired uh, uh, officially through the uh, PERS um, January 1st. I left the fire department December 8th. Um, that's like Kenny said, 32 years, uh, was a mobile intensive care paramedic up in Toledo for 10 years, working in Very the emergency qualified. room. I uh, got a lot of experience up there and stuff, but it's We're lucky uh, to have you. the nice thing is, it's nice to have this opportunity to keep my skills up because that, to be honest with you, when I left the fire department, I really wasn't ready to leave, but because of changes in the state retirement and stuff, it was a smart thing to do. So I'm glad I can get back into the EMS part of it and help out the, the yeah, this will be a little different. I'm used to the city. Now I'm going to be working with the county. You just have to drive so. longer. <laughs> That's what I keep hearing. <laughs> it's not that far though. No. 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 Learning your way around is a challenging part. We have GPS now. Good. <laughs> so, uh, and another thing that, that Chris will bring to us is his ability to teach. He's certified to teach just about anything, um, probably more stuff than I am. So that's, okay. that's kind of handy. It'll take some of the pressure off of me individually, and it, it'll uh, double our efforts as far as our, our education program goes. Okay. And um, that, that, that's kind of my focus is if we teach them, then maybe they'll stick around. But, and if not, we can just keep adding more, you know. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do that. And we appreciate Chris coming and, um, and this. I think it's good for all of us. Yeah. Welcome to the county. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for coming. Thanks, today. Chris. Hey, Ken, I got a quick question. Yes, ma'am. Um, I know it's Chris. Dan's meeting, but Dan's having that emergency update meeting on Thursday. Okay. With municipalities and townships yeah. and that kind I of stuff. I wasn't aware of that. So. Okay, he just sent something out. Um, but I, I was seeing the news last night about on Channel 11 about the city of Tiffin's 911 system, part of that being down. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I don't understand the They're networking. They're all pretty much. Yes, yeah, so is there anything that, anything, or is that a question for Dan? That would be a question for Dan. Okay. But uh, it's a very similar system. I think even all the same components are involved. I'm not sure if it's a lightning strike or something of that nature, but when one doesn't work, usually the other one does, and then they kind of, they're all, they kind of fail safe on each other. Okay. So if, if, they're, if someone makes the call, I mean, when part of it goes down, does their call go through? It just takes longer? Does it not go through at all? And how does it, when it says part of it, I, I believe like, it does it depend over. on where you are residing or sitting on your cell phone making it, the call? It brings or? over, but I'm not sure what the automation process is on okay. that. But um, I, there is a possibility that 911 can rig busy. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I think that that's, that needs to be. Be a disheartening I mean, thing. Yeah, it yeah. would be. <laughs> but there is a possibility that that could happen, especially okay. when it's inundated with calls and everybody everybody in the room probably has a cell phone in their pocket. Yeah. So there's only so many lines. Sure. But uh, they do ring over. They'll, they'll run over, cascade to the next. 
Yeah. Okay. Like I said, it's the city's. So I'm sure they're working on it. I was just curious. Sure. Welcome. And Dan has covered their uh, 911 before because the EOC can. Mm -hmm be a standalone dispatch if, if need be. So I think yeah. he's done he that He had to do that during the, during the heart of the storm. He had 911. He was dispatching all the 911 for the county. I'm not sure for the city. That's a good question. Okay. Um, but uh, he was busy. He needed a few more arms and a couple sets of ears. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Any other public comment? Anything else from the board? I just got his resolution. Oh, oh okay. All right, all right. All right. Yes, um, let's do that. We have a resolution hiring Christopher Hayfleet as the interim paramedic for the Seneca County EMS Paramedic Response Unit, effective July 16, 2013. Okay, is there a motion? So moved. Seconded. Any more discussion? You might note that we have a lot of these little paramedics from the echo unit. They do not add to the cost because you only have a certain amount on duty at any given time. So as he hires people, it doesn't increase the hours of the echo unit. It just increases the number of people available mm -hmm. to run the echo unit. Um, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Zoller? Yes. Commissioner Stacy? Yes. Commissioner Wagner? Yes. Okay, at 10 o'clock we're meeting for a Wolf Creek. It was supposed to be the final ditch hearing, but since the engineer's final report is not done, it will be an update. We're going to go and give a little background and have an update of what they found out so far and hopefully set a date for the final hearing at that point. And, and that will be that. I have no idea how long it will take. So it will be 10 o'clock at the public safety building. Any other thing else? that we need to talk about before we go. Anything else for you folks? All right, is there a motion to adjourn then? So moved. Seconded. Okay, we're adjourned at 9.22. Tom, did we get you out of time?